Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Well, we've still got these daytime deluges, these isolated thunderstorms and torrential rain forming around the inland parts of both islands. And at the same time, the heat wave through central Otago continues and it's going to get even hotter as we head in towards the end of the week. So let me explain what's going on because there is quite a bit. Here is the setup. Look at the size of the current high around New Zealand. It is way out to the east. Australia is a few thousand kilometres across. This is a few thousand kilometres across, if not wider. And the centre of it now, quite a distance from New Zealand. There are sort of secondary centres to it as well. It is a bit of a big complicated high. But what you see here is the reason why we're getting these big downpours and the cloudy areas. There's a general northeast airflow going this way down around the country. So even if you've got locally a sea breeze that might be producing a southerly, the actual general flow around New Zealand is coming out of the subtropics. So we're getting some bigger downpours and this hot, humid, warm weather, no end in sight just yet. So this is the animated wind map. These areas in pale blue indicate the risks across Tuesday afternoon of more downpours, more thunderstorms. You'll note it shifts along the eastern side of the South Island and the upper area for the North Island. It's all in very much the same spots as yesterday, although perhaps a little less so on the east and perhaps a little pushing further towards uh, the west, towards National Park and the Whanganui River area. So more downpours coming. And one other thing to notice, Look at these convergence, look at these meeting winds. You've got light westerlies coming in on the west coast, easterlies on the east coast, and they meet right along the mountains there. In the North Island, it's even more interesting. You've got winds coming in from the northeast, uh, you've got them coming along from the east, the west, and even the northwest. So it's all converging right here in the central North Island. That's why we're getting these big downpours. Look at this setup here. This is across Tuesday afternoon. The red indicates the risk for thunderstorms. So once again, the North Island's perhaps more exposed to them, especially the lower half of the North Island. And in the South Island, it's the upper uh, South Island mountains that are most likely to get the afternoon downpours and thunderstorms into Tuesday afternoon. But the risk also goes through along the foothills and the mountains of Canterbury and right down towards um, northern and eastern parts of Otago, those more big downpours you can see in the green, the dark green, that indicates heavy rain. And the final thing, the white and the grey you see up all around the north and all along the east and the south, that's cloud. So we've got quite a bit of cloudy weather as well. So if it's dry at your place, chances are it could be cloudy. So this is how it looks for Wednesday. Pretty much the same as what we've just looked at. Again, those downpours along the eastern areas through central and the biggest, the risk for thunder and, and the uh, biggest downpours are the upper South Island and the lower half of the North Island once again. So it's the same risk zones. Waikato perhaps got a slightly higher risk as we head in towards the middle of the week. Same story on Thursday. In fact, Thursday could be Waikato's first day of getting some proper thunderstorms in the area. It's been much drier and quieter there over the last few days, especially compared to last week. And in the South Island, similar stories. The downpours perhaps tracking again back further in land uh, through the South Island on Thursday. But look what happens on Friday. The showers disappear around the South Island. They are, they are falling apart. We'll still get a few downpours. There might still be an isolated thunderstorm, but there's a nor'wester that's starting. And even if you can barely feel it, it will be enough to put an end to a lot of those downpours, but they continue on in the North Island. And the same story on Saturday, dry now for the South Island by the looks of it too much of a, a westerly breeze, but the downpour is becoming isolated in the north, but still sticking around. So yeah, we're certainly stuck in this pattern right now. So that is all for me. We'll update you again on Wednesday with the very last.